I am Deborah Chice. This is the picture of my son, um, Austin. Uh, we had a picture with President DeJoya. Yes, on graduation day. He has been unlawfully detained in Syria since 2012, held in silence 10 years and nine months for telling the truth about a rising conflict and the horrible costs of war. 21 years ago, Austin sat on Healy Lawn in his cap and gown, just as you are today. Graduation day is a day of celebration and joy. Our big family, all of Austin's brothers and sisters, drove up here from Houston. Austin's grandmother and grandfather were here from West Texas. My brother and his wife were delighted to be here with us. We were all so proud and happy for his important accomplishment. It was clear Austin felt an obligation to live up to the mission of this school, to be in service to the world. I knew on that day that he had found his place and tuned in to his calling. Austin was hugely excited to be graduating from the School of Foreign Service. In this photo, you get an idea. He seemed to fill the entire lawn with his energy and enthusiasm. Austin's unbridled exuberance as he walked across this stage to receive his diploma, he actually lifted the president of the school. <laughs> Georgetown was all that Austin had hoped for and expected. Academics were easy for Austin, and he always wanted to learn more. He was especially interested in history and global politics. He grew up dreaming of being an international correspondent for NPR. I will always remember the day when his acceptance letter arrived in the mail. He was ecstatic when he was accepted to the Georgetown School of Foreign Service. When the semester began, he was thrilled and amazed to meet so many incredibly bright, challenging, motivated classmates. He relished the environment of iron sharpening iron. Austin didn't want to just study the world. He wanted to find a way to serve the world. On this campus, in and out of the classroom, Austin found his path and began to understand his calling. The Jesuit call to diligently serve with integrity and purpose. Austin chose to serve our country as an officer in the U.S. Marine Corps, three tours, including Iraq and Afghanistan. When he returned, he enrolled in Georgetown Law School. In 2012, when the Arab Spring was spreading, he began to hear of the escalating conflict and suffering of civilians in Syria. At that time, there were few foreign journalists on the ground in Syria. Austin was confident of his preparation and passionate about reporting. So he went to Syria, working as a freelance journalist during the summer break between his second and third year of law school. He wanted people to see and understand what was happening in Syria. He hoped that knowledge of the escalation, the dangers of urban warfare, and the harm to innocent children would move people to pull back from violence. His stories and photos appeared in the Washington Post, 
McClatchy News, CBS, and many other news outlets. Today, in you, you, I can see all the promise that lit up Austin's face that day 21 years ago. I can feel the joy and excitement of your family and friends, the pride they feel in your accomplishments. I believe you will be on your path and discover your calling to make our world a better place by being women and men working for others. I hope you are inspired by the courage and commitment to defend freedom and stand against injustice that so many of your fellow graduates have demonstrated for generations. I also hope you realize that you have an obligation to those currently imprisoned for promoting freedom and working against injustice not just those from Georgetown, but from around the world. Keep them in your hearts. Advocate for their freedom. Pressure your governments to prioritize their release. Never forget that behind all the great ideas of diplomacy, security, and foreign affairs that you have studied here at the School of Foreign Service, there are people and families who are at the center of the struggle for freedom. Please remember Austin. He personifies the mission of this school, a mission that you are now tasked to carry as the newest graduates. Don't forget Austin. We need every everyone who values freedom to unite to bring him home. You have chosen a path. You have accepted the challenge of being a peacemaker, something our world needs now more than ever. Today, we are celebrating your determination. You have reached a milestone on your path. On this path, you will learn that peace requires tenacity and persistence. You will encounter complicated agendas with daunting sidebars requiring countless preliminary discussions followed by meeting after meeting after meeting because Diplomacy never, never, never works until it does. Thank you. Thank all of you for choosing this incredibly challenging, profoundly rewarding path. Congratulations. May peace follow you every step of the way. Thank you.